Hey guys, it's Deanna from Far From Homesteading. I was going to make this video about how I discovered the magic of medicinal herbs. And as I thought about it, really thought about how I discovered medicinal herbs, some things hit me that I did not realize. I think it is just a crazy timeline of how this happened and I wanted to share it with you guys. So in late fall of 2018, I ingested the big red pill. I made a video about it. It was very traumatic, guys, in early spring of 2019. So just a few months later, I was diagnosed with a rare skin disorder called, yeah, I, I can't pronounce it. I'll put it right here, but it is called PLC. It's a rare skin disease that causes you to break out in a rash that causes like open sores all over your torso, um, your upper arms, thighs, you know, hips, thighs, you know, all this area. And then um, I had blisters on my hands, on the palms of my hands, and on the soles of my feet. And I'm sure that this was caused from the massive amount of stress I was under in the waking up process. But um, also I had a psoriasis type dermatitis on my face that caused these um, blisters to pop up on my face, especially right here um, that around my eyes, I would get them and it hurt extremely terribly, extremely terribly, that's not a word. It hurt very badly <laughs> and it made it impossible to want to be out in the sun, in the heat, in the cold, anything like that. It was just unbearable. It felt like burning, just a burning. I can't explain it. Anyways, early spring 2019, I was diagnosed. In July of 2019, I went to a festival in town with a friend and there was a booth that had medicinal herbs like tinctures and salves, bath, bath salts and soaks and just all kinds of things, lotions. They had everything. And I thought, well, you know, I want to stop and talk to this lady and see if she has anything that might just be soothing for my skin because it was July, which it wasn't really hot, but it was sunny. So I was miserable. So I stopped to talk to the woman and it was this little old lady and her husband and they were the cutest, the cutest old couple. And he told me that she discovered herbs, medicinal herbs, and that she just became very passionate about it. And he was passionate about her. So he was passionate about it as well. And it was just, they were super cute. But the thing that really stuck with me from that experience was she left that booth and she took me around the park because it was at the city park in the town I live in. And she took me around the area and showed me all the medicinal herbs just there at the city park. You know, the, the plantain, the dandelions, clover. I, there was actually quite a bit of different things because we have a pretty nice little park. But it was overwhelming to me, you know, and these people were just stopping all over it. There was a big festival. It was just full of booths and rides and people having a good time. But I thought that was amazing that there was just all these plants that could help all these different problems that you had. And they're just right there everywhere. So I went home with this new found curiosity of medicinal herbs. And I just happened to see in my recommended a video from Carolyn from Homesteading Family. That video just resonated with me. Like I was like, yes, yes, that's what they do. I am so amazed. Like this is, this is the thing. This is the thing for me. It was like I had found all the answers to life's questions. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It was overwhelming. I know that's not exactly what it was like, but it was really eye opening. And I just, hit it hard. I started foraging. I started dehydrating herbs and making tinctures and doing the thing. I started doing the thing. I started with elderberries. I had a friend who I knew did elderberry syrup every year. And I did not care anything about it until I got sick. And at the end of 2019 is when COVID hit. The next spring was the first quarantine and people were panicking. I feel like I was given this information with the ability to receive it just at the right time. And 
I am so thankful because I have an autoimmune disease. So I am very wary when people start getting sick and it is classified as a pandemic. I mean, that is pretty worrisome. I feel like I was really given the gift of medicinal herbs just at the right time. I had had enough time to study them, to become pretty comfortable with them before everything started getting crazy. And I'm really glad that I did. I just love medicinal herbs. I'll talk about, I'm going to talk about them. I'm going to talk about them a lot on this channel. Um, I grow them in my garden. I have them growing wild. I like to forage. I'll take you with me. This is a passion of mine. So if it is a passion of yours, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll be updated when those videos come out. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Till next time.